Hey guys, hope all is well. Hope you guys had a great weekend. It was my birthday weekend. I know I haven't done a motivational Maya in a long, long time, but I wanted to talk to you guys and give you some motivation this week. So what happened today? Today at my job, there was a pipe break and um, I could smell gas outside. I was like, oh my goodness, I told my manager, I was like, I smell gas, I smell gas. And I was like the only one that could smell it and everyone was kind of going about their business and I was like, I smell gas outside and um, all of a sudden you see all these police officers come by the area they one of them ran into our store and they're each of them are going to different stores um, one came to my store and was saying everybody run to the back run to the back of the store so I was like I the person we stopped the trend we stopped what we were doing <laughs> we ran to the back I ran to the back Got my stuff out the locker. I was like, um, ask, you know, do I need to clock out? No, we'll do that later on. Some people, they said, some people stayed in the back until um, it was okay. But luckily, I parked near the back. So I just ran into my car and got out of there because I was not trying to t um, wait. I, I didn't want to wait. I, don't want, I wanted to get out of the area. I didn't want to wait for an explosion. I don't know what was going to happen. I just was trying to get out of there, you know. Um, it was like the entire police force was over there, like all over there. So when I got home, I was able to just breathe for a second. But also, it gave me a lot of empathy and a lot of perspective of how cops have to work and people who are first responders and firefighters and anyone in that area. My boyfriend is preparing to be a police officer and he, he's looking to be in that field of work. So it gave me a lot of compassion, perspective, and empathy for that. So the motivational messages today also um, taught me to um, trust your instincts because for me, I, I smelled something. I was like, I smell gas. But also to not live in fear too because, you know, you're, you're right and it's like a fear kind of takes over your body because I was really scared for my life, you know. Um, but it made me almost fearful, like, afterwards about, like, wow, my boyfriend might go through this every day, but I was watching a YouTube video about a wife of a cop, and she's a Christian, and how she prays every day, and how she, ch you would think she would live in fear, but she chooses faith over fear, and, um, it's just, you know, because you can be in fear any type of word. You can be in fear getting into a car accident. You can be in fear of getting COVID. You can be in fear for a lot of things, but it's like you have to deliberately choose faith over fear despite the circumstances. So, um, I don't know who this message is for, but I just want to motivate you guys to live in, to live in faith. It's, it's natural to feel fear, but still choose to stay in a faith mindset regardless of their circumstances, regardless of what COVID or what anything is going on. Of course, and also be smart. You know, if something is, if, if you see that some place is unsafe, be smart too. I'm not saying to just be in faith and just not be smart and be willy nilly and not wear masks and stuff. No, be, use caution, use your brain, <laughs> be smart, but don't live in fear, you know, live in faith, but be still smart about it. So I hope you guys have a great week, week this week. Thank you everyone for their birthday wishes. I'm loving this new hair as well. You know, trying something, <laughs> trying something new for the holidays. So thank you so much. Stay tuned for more messages on my Instagram and my YouTube pages. And also, um, I just posted a video for a product review of this hair too. So if you want to know more about it, check that out too. Have a good day, guys.